chapter one. You are so loved. Before the sun was out, the disciples crossed the sea in a boat. Suddenly they encountered a storm and see a man walking across the water. Their mind races to figure out what is going on. One disciple says, it's a ghost. And they eventually realize who it is. It's their friend, their leader. It's Jesus. Peter then walks out of the boat and begins to walk on the water towards Jesus. The Bible says, but seeing the wind, he became frightened and began to sink. He cried out, Lord, save me. Matthew 14, verse 30. Notice this verse begins by telling us what Peter saw, the winds. He began to sink when he took his eyes off of the Lord. Now, it was impossible for Peter to walk on water during a storm. In fact, it is impossible to walk on water during a clear blue day. Here, it was not about the waves, but it was about how Peter took his focus off of Christ. This is what happens to us as believers when we take our focus and place it on something other than Christ. Some Christians try to muster enough strength to love God. They try and try to love God, but it always feels like it is not enough. My friend, the Bible tells us we love because he first loved us. 1 John 4, 19. It is the very fact that we are conscious of that love and we will love God. God is the initiator. Now we love because he took the first step. The way to love God more is to understand and focus on how much God loves us. Like Peter When we become worried with too many things, we can miss the moments God has for us. We can see all of the storms and waves and become distracted. Some people place an emphasis on our love for the Lord. This is important and we should love God, but we need to have the main focus be on God's love for us. The idea is not to ignore the storm and never bring an umbrella. We should always be aware of the storm but we should not allow it to control our lives. In these moments when we are conscious conscious of God's love for us, we will love God more. Knowing God's love isn't a temporary motivation. It's a life-sustaining foundation. Remember, when we love, we love because God first loved us. 1 John 4, 19.